Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to write two simple but very useful UAM programs. If you have not installed our latest Arduino library, please install it first. You can click the link in the upper right corner to watch our tutorial video. Um, Alright, for the first example, I will show you how to move your robot arm to a certain position. And uh, as you can see here, I already put some head fills inside the sketch. And if you do not have too much program experience or um, have um, um, no idea what those uh, head fills do, currently it's fun because all you need to know is um, those head fills are very important to us and you have to put them there. The next thing we have to do here is to define a UAM object. Um, for example, here I can just call it um, UAM. Okay. Uh, next, you can see here is the setup part. Obviously, we have to do some setup for our UAM. And the first thing we have to do is to join the I2C bus, and then we can do that by calling this where begin function. And next, uh, what we have to do is to um, initialize the UAM object we just de defined above. Next, we have to move to the loop part. Here in this loop part, uh, we have to call this a move to method. And uh, here, um, I would like to move our uh, robot arm to position 0, minus 20, minus 20. And that should let um, the robot arm go forward a little bit and downward a little bit. But be careful here, our work is not done yet. Since this loop will run repeatedly, we have to act, uh, exit after this move too, so that um, the program can leave the loop after the robot arm moved to the certain position. So here we add exit 0 after the move 2. OK, uh, now. Uh, we can save the code and um, rename it as move2, okay. And uh, we can uh, first verify our code by compile it. Okay, seems like our code is fine. And then make sure you choose the correct port and download your code to your UARM. Download code to UARM may usually take about uh, 20 seconds, so just please be patient. Okay, now it's done. Uh, let's take a look how the robot arm moves. Okay, our second program is to try the XYZ coordinate of UARM. So we start from the original move2 program, and we now need to add three new integers, um, x, y, and z. So uh, y. Z. Okay. Um, in the setup part, we have to add something new, since we want our X Y Z coordinate shows on the serial monitors. So uh, we have to um, enable the serial port. So we do that by call this serial uh, serial begin begin begin. Okay, and here we put the board rate is ninety six hundred. And it's also the default board read of UARM. Next is the loop part. Here, the first thing you may want to do is to detach uh, all the servos uh, so that you can move your UARM. And next, uh, you may want to get the X, Y, and Z coordinate. We can do this by using the method get coordinate, get coordinate X. Okay, and uh, uh, we can just copy this one since we also have the method get coordinate y and get coordinate z. So we can just simply change the letter. After you get the coordinate, the next thing you want to do is to 
um, print on the serial monitor. So the first things we may want to print is um, the current location is all right, and then we need to print um, print x. So serial print x. Okay, and uh, I think we um, better use a comma to separate them. So serial print. Okay, all right, now I can copy these two lines and uh, just like before, change it to Y and Z, again Z. Okay, the next thing we have to do is to print a new line, because we don't want all our um, data stuck in just one line. Okay, new line. Okay, then we have to set up delay time. Here um, I chose the delay time to be 500 milliseconds. Yeah. yeah, okay. Now we need to delay the old code. Okay, we are done here. Okay, now we can save our sketch as track x1. Oh, y, Z. All right, and as usual, we can verify our code by compile it. Okay, seems like it's good. Next, we can upload our code to your. Uploading is done, and we can check the serial monitor see if there are any data. Yeah. Already get some data in the serial monitor. Okay, now let's move our URL. As you can see here, uh, we'll move your URL. The XYZ coordinate will show on the serial monitor so that you can track the position of your URL.